So I want to give my uh, heartfelt apologies to Billy Mitchell. Um, I want to kind of explain to you what happened uh, from, from one of my previous videos where I was talking about the Billy Mitchell and Todd Rogers controversy, calling it the most important issue of our, of our day, which I still kind of do believe that it is, um, <clears throat> at least when it comes to gaming, which is something that I really don't care that much about. But um, So I was watching Billy Mitchell's response, and Billy Mitchell did respond. In my, in my video, I believe uh, I was asking for some, some kind of response from Billy Mitchell, and I got it. He went on, uh, was it the East Side? something show like he went on, on, on one of his friends uh, shows and uh, Billy Mitchell did concede that with the Donkey Kong score that the video that they referenced was indeed MAME gameplay. Uh, MAME is an emulator system instead of uh, playing on an actual arcade machine and so he conceded that the video that they used to remove him from their scoreboards, we're talking about Donkey Kong forum, the video they used to remove him was in fact a MAME video so it should rightfully be removed, but he contends that the video that he submitted was not that video, and that Twin Galaxies should have the the full tape in their possession. And uh, that he said he actually submitted two tapes uh, of this of this particular uh, gameplay. The first one uh, showed the arcade, um, or showed the showed the screen, and the second one showed. The surrounding area just to show you that he was actually playing and had um, witnesses and, and that it wasn't uh, uh, all totally fabricated so that's uh, that's the story and so now I'm in a position where even though I gotta tell you before I made that last video and I actually looked into Billy Mitchell before I made that last video I had pretty much all of my preconceptions about Billy Mitchell came from the movie the King of Kong uh, it was a great documentary, but uh, uh, I've since watched other things about the King of Kong that show that they were sort of being a little bit uh, disingenuous. Like Billy Mitchell didn't even have the record at the time of <clears throat> of all this gameplay. Like like it was it was this contrived thing between Billy Mitchell and Steve Wiebe, and I think Billy Mitchell like realized it right away because Billy Mitchell said that the reason why he uh, signed on to it was that he, he thought it was supposed to be um, a documentary about him and this other guy and he didn't realize it was going to be sort of a hit piece on Billy Mitchell and in watching Billy Mitchell's interviews I think Billy Mitchell plays a character and this character is called Billy Mitchell and Billy Mitchell is the most cocky arrogant mother effer you will ever know uh, he is so full of himself. Uh, he speaks about himself in the third person and all that stuff. Uh, but I think that in watching Billy Mitchell's interviews, it is watching his, watching his interviews where he's not playing the character. Uh, Billy Mitchell actually really does seem to be a pretty stand-up guy. And he's got a very positive uh, outlook on life. And I, I, I commend him for that. Uh, so I'm willing to sort of put my own personal bias against Billy Mitchell aside and say that I'm willing to give him the benefit of the doubt when it comes to this uh, this whole controversy regarding his Donkey Kong scores. So um, until I actually see footage of the original thing from Twin Galaxies, which may or may not ever surface, but Billy Mitchell actually did put out a call to Twin Galaxies to uh, release or send a copy of the video that he submitted to this uh, to this moderator that had removed him from uh, from the scorebooks. So I gotta say, I I think Billy Mitchell might actually be onto something. I think Billy Mitchell might be telling the truth uh, if that that's what he's calling for, because he's really putting a lot on the line by by putting out a call saying that they should release it. I mean, he's putting a lot. He's putting his whole credibility on the line. And you and I have a feeling that that why would he be calling for that if it weren't for if it weren't for it actually being true? Like well, I'm 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 half inclined to actually believe him now. Now that he's saying, yeah, I've got the video, or I I don't have the video. It's the videos over at uh, Twin Galaxies. Have them release it to you, and I I'm calling on Twin Galaxies to release it. Okay, good for you, Billy. Uh, so I want to give my apologies to Billy Mitchell, and I hope that uh, and I hope that. This sort of clears the air about this. Um, 
like I said, after having watched a few interviews with him, um, I really do believe that he is as stand-up a guy as all of his friends say he is. Well, thanks. Uh, I know this may not be a particularly, uh, what's the word, favorable for a lot of people because I know that I know that a lot of people have an axe to grind against Billy because he is a very good gamer and uh, and you know there's part of there's some people that actually feel a lot of jealousy for that and the jealousy for the success that he's had but uh, uh, my video is going bad so I'll leave you guys to it have a good one bye